our solving of equations for a letter where we don't know what all of the other letters are. So here we're going to end up with an equation at the end. So I'm looking for H. There's my H. Might be easier to see if I use a different pen. There's my H. So I want to get rid of the 5 and I want to get rid of the G. Both of those are being multiplied by the H. So I'm going to group them together and I'm going to divide by that all at one time. What I do on one side of the equal sign, I have to do the exact same thing on the other side of the equal sign. So now the 5G cancels the 5G on that side. On this side, I have F divided by 5G altogether. So I could write that as F divided by open parentheses 5G close parentheses equals H. That's one way of writing it. Another way of writing it is F over 5G equals H. The way I wrote it in green here is a shortened form and most teachers will prefer it written like that. Second example down here. 3x plus y equals 7 solve for y. So I need to find out where is my y. There it is. I need to get rid of the 3 and the x and I can do it all at once. I have an addition sign between them so I'm going to subtract the entire thing all at one time. What I do on one side of the equal sign, I do on the other. Now I have y equals 7 minus 3x. I put the parentheses in to tell me that that is one group. That is not two separate things. Down here, as I look at this side of the equal sign, I have subtraction and I have multiplication. Multiply comes before subtract. So I don't need to have the parentheses there to force it to come first. So my actual answer down here is y equals 7 minus 3x, no parentheses. It's not wrong if you have the parentheses in there. That is okay, but it's not as simple as it can get. Over on this side. being asked to solve for A. You see that it's saying for A. So I find my A. Now I need to get rid of everything that's on this side of the equal sign with it. So I have addition and I have addition. I'm going to subtract them out one at a time so you can see where they're going. I'm going to subtract out the C. I now have P minus C equals A plus B. A is not alone yet. Still trying to solve for A. I need to get rid of this B. It's being added, so I'm going to subtract it. So now I have P minus C minus B equals A. Now my A is completely alone. There's nothing else on this side with it, so this is solved. Done.